Good morning. Today is Thursday, the 22nd of December. I slept well. And I just read a message from Tanya that she didn't sleep tonight. So she cancels cookie making. It's just Martina and I now. Um, okay. I, I hoped I could just be um, the organizer with the with a temperatures and stuff. And, uh, and I, I don't know. <laughs> I could just do my cookies here and stuff. Because I don't know if I can do that with Martina, all of it. I also don't want to leave the house. <laughs> it's rainy outside. So I need to text Martina. Maybe I stay home and do it here. <laughs> and here are the hazelnut sticks with some chocolate sprinkled over it. And now those are done. And off to the vanilla kipfer, which I just need to form by hand. First finger thick, then about that wide pieces, cut them, and then make them pencil thin and form them, form them into a moon and put them on the thingy. I'm just taking pieces. So. That's the dough that was so crumbly yesterday. <laughs> Still is. Maybe, maybe I don't make, maybe I just make straight sticks. With a little bend. <laughs> Okay. okay, so you had the theory. I'm not going by theory. I'm going by what I can do. <laughs> so, thick little moons. <laughs> so this is how, how mine looks look now. Before baking at the other side in the oven, I just had a quick sandwich. <clears throat> Now I need to do the the icing. It's not really wet icing. I just add what is it? six to eight eating spoons, esslöffel, tablespoons powdered sugar, and one to two packages of vanilla sugar. Mix that and then um, uh, throw the cookies in. out of the oven they're good when they get a bit brown around the edges and apparently they do lose their form a bit and now I have to throw them into the sugar mix before they're cooled down so it sticks a bit to it and yeah they're still very crumbly so I hope they don't fall apart maybe just use that spoon scoop one up put it in here uh, maybe I maybe I take the sieve and I do that off camera because on camera things go wrong. See? Oh yeah, love it. It goes better now. I can take it by hand, put it here, maybe add a little spoon and just do it by hand. It's just a lot easier. But as soon as I switched on the camera, it got worse again. Ha ha. Mm. 
it's so chaotic. Um, my little sister is now coming over. She wants needs some cookie cutters and also a coffee. And uh, <laughs> I'm a lot of the stress factor because Tanya cancelled and I didn't see it happening then. Then I wanted to finish mine, bring them over before anything else happens. And Martina wanted to come over. I said, no, I need to finish that. And now um, I stopped and she's coming over now. I finished my cookies later. And it's just so chaotic when that's the first time. No, it's not the first time. We three try to do something and one one of the members can't do it and it all breaks apart. And yeah, I'm also tired to go all the way over there and yeah. But it's it's a bit annoying how 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 complicated it gets when you try to do something with a group and uh, then it doesn't work out entirely as you planned. And I'm not flexible and uh, yeah, trying to be. Martina coming over for a coffee and getting cookie cutters. Now those cookies are, I roll out on flour and about one eighth inch thick, about two millimeters. Oops, oh good. And I think they should stay cool because, yeah, just because. is in the way. <laughs> so my narrow tad is thicker because I cannot bother. <laughs> I just take a round form. I don't know if you see that I have some flour on the side and Dip that in there, so on. And now per cookie, I need to make two thingies. One will be the lid, and one will be the bottom part. So I'm just doing that right now, and I'm just doing the round ones. Basically, they're like smiley faces, but I'm not making smileys. <laughs> And I would take a straw and poke holes in every second one, every other one, maybe three. That goes easy with a with straw. And I forgot that I'm doing every other. <laughs> I'm getting out. So, didn't want to get out here. Ah, so, now this. <laughs> This, 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 okay. <laughs> <Those can't. laughs> huh? <And> that. <laughs> okay, I'm just making some. Transfer them. Okay. And now they lose their form. So those are the first ones, which look horrible. And then I used a lot of lot more flour and I even rolled it out thicker. And those are then the next ones. And it got a bit better. And this is the leftover one. Um, this dough is very weird. It's so soft. Um, if you just touch it a bit, it, it, it dents right away. So uh, very, very delicate cookies. They're going to be filled with jam and then put the lid on it. And one of the best things about this cookie making session, which went so wrong because we all cannot <laughs> do it somehow, is that Tanya wanted those cheeky boys and also other, the vanilla kipferl and the, another one, another, the uh, cinnamon stars. 
and now she says she, she doesn't want any cookies anyway because she cannot eat them but um, it's kind of why i started making cookies because she wanted those cookies so we had a very weird morning and it's very hard to edit that vlog because i'm baking and stuff i want the cookie stuff to be in order but also I'm doing that those on separate days and stuff. So you will get bits and pieces about my days uh, in the wrong order. And Martina came over. We had a lovely time. It was very good. We kind of, we say we, ha we haven't die Kurve gekriegt. Uh, we, we got the band. Like in a, in a road when there's a band and you, you stay on the street. So it got a bit better again because I was so stressed before. I wanted to make, finish the cookies and then I said she can't come over. And then I took a break and she came over and that was very good. So we're all kind of fine with the situation now. But uh, yeah, that's that. And uh, I don't know how that vlog or those two vlogs will turn out. It's just, I'm not an editor. I get very confused when it's not chronological. So, but I try to put the cookie part together. Yeah, and I don't want to cut me out all the time. So that's that. I am not entirely... <laughs> It is by uh, 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit for about 8 to 10 minutes. After about 8 minutes, they're out and I put some uh, powdered sugar, icing sugar onto the lid parts, the ones with the holes. And now they need to cool down. And then I put some jam on this part and add the lid and then those are done. Second one is in the oven. So I tried to edit that and I cannot do it. It's going to be chronological of the first vlog. <laughs> it's very long, over an hour. So that's just how it is. And I am a bit weak. I um, have taken a break since taking those out and now I'm making ramen. And uh, maybe I tried to do the glaze thing. I just take jam, raspberry jam. And normally you would take some raspberry jelly or Johannes bear jelly and warm it up and then do that. But I just take the cold one. So I'm just taking my jam and a spoon. It cooled down all right. I don't know how much. Take a little jam, put it on the bottom part and take the lid and put it on. So those are Spitzbuebe. Cheeky boys. I always want to say cheeky bastards. <laughs> so. So I ran out of the, the raspberry jam, so I took the jam with a bit darker berry. We call the raspberry jam Himbeeri and the other one Brombeeri, but maybe blackberry or something. I don't know. It looks the same as a raspberry, it's just a bit darker. And I ate my ramen and had a cookie with the Brombeeri jam. It was very good. So they're good. But they're a bit, uh, a bit more aufwand, more effort to do it. And here I got the package from Car Carla. Darla, and there's my cat next to it. So it's huge. I think I know what's in it, but I'm not opening it yet. I want to wait for Christmas. And thank you so, so much. And the, the letter is love. I love the, the info in there. I'm not sharing that now here, even though I wanted to say some stuff about it. With a smartphone, because those things you wrote there are hard things. Um, they're not easy, so well done. <laughs> And um, yeah, also switching it on and off, is, is, it's not easy. And one doesn't want to switch it off because you never know if you can switch it back on again. That's just the case with those smartphones. And postage wise, <laughs> that was even worse than the one from Tina. That's, 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 just, that's so much. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you can afford to eat over Christmas now with that expense and 
yeah thank you so much <laughs> so now we're coming to the cinnamon stars zimt sterne and i was very worried about this dough yesterday and it got a bit firmer so i hope, <laughs> I hope it'll work this dough one um, puts on sugar and uh, should be a quarter to three eighths of an inch, which is 0 0.5 or 0, or 0 0.75 centimeters. I'm going with three millimeters. Oh no, that's wrong. The five millimeters. Oh, thanks. So half a centimeter. I'm glad. I thought it has to be very thin. But <laughs> nah, I think it won't go well. <laughs> That's just the usual. Huh? Sorry, it's always a yeah, they're a bit thicker, but I don't care. So I make just stars. Well, they're called cinnamon stars, so just cutting in stars. Ow. I got two trays full of cinnamon stars and now the dreaded part part is to do the glaze which has kind of separated <laughs> Just doing this and now I cut off a tip never did that like that normally one pencils it on with a brush because this is way too big a tip anyway I just tried to Put one drop in the middle and hope I have enough for all of them and then go in with a brush or something or maybe it, it distributes itself. So. No, to the other tray. So that was just enough for all of them. And maybe I use my finger to just. <sighs> yeah. Spread it. And so on. So those are the. Is it on? Two trays. And now we go in the oven at 482 Fahrenheit, very hot, and three to five minutes. Uh, as soon as the, I think it gets a bit brown on the edges, the, the, the glaze. Well, the first time I looked in the oven, I should have taken them out. You know, if I normally, the glaze stays a bit white. I think it's still all right, but um, it's closer to three minutes than five. Or my oven is very hot. <laughs> and those are worth making because those are very good. Also the Spitzbube, the last ones. Vanillekipfel I would not make again. They're so annoying. And also the hazelnut sticks. They are not so good. But those, the Brunsli and the Spitzbube are delicious. And there's another way how to use the egg yolks from all the cookies instead of making Haselnuss Stängerli. The typical Mylanderly, uh, which Martina made. So maybe I'll show that to you <laughs> next year. <laughs> so, okay. And those stay a bit soft in, on the inside. Second part I took out a bit sooner. Uh, that's fine. 
So, and one cookie dough to go. It's evening, but I know it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So this is my favorite one. I made double the amount, which is a bit regrettable. <laughs> They're good. And yesterday after eating, I, 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 <laughs> I sliced up a piece and ate it like that as a dessert. So this dough is also on the sugar and very hard. It's the one with the melted chocolate in it. And, uh, but when it gets too soft or then it gets too, <laughs> too soft. Oh, this is very hard. Okay, I'll show you when it's, it's rolled out. The thing with this dough is as soon as it gets easy to roll it out, it's actually getting too sticky to work with it. So <laughs> it's, it's a bit tricky. And yeah, I love my, my uh, dough sticks. I don't have them for a long time, maybe second season or something, <laughs> but I cannot handle them. <laughs> they were always in the way and yeah, it's just it. Hunk like lucky. And this one is, I said that already. Oh no, that's the last one. This one is five millimeters, a quarter of an inch. Roll out on sugar, the same cooking temperature, 482 Fahrenheit or 250 degrees Celsius. And about five minutes. So it's, I guess it's gonna stick a lot to the table. I'm glad for my cookie shopper. Maybe just loosen it a bit. And I'm gonna make thick ones. So. <laughs> okay. And this time I wanna make some nice um, sujet. I got my trusty hippo. But maybe, maybe a bit more. And a penguin. They're not too intricate, so. And those have that um, scoring thingy. Mm. Cannot see it, but they're cute without it too. So. Scoring, just those details. Need to make some hearts for Tanya. So two are out, first batch, second, you cannot really say if they're good. It smelled a bit burnt and then I took them out. They, they, they stay a bit soft and with time they get a bit harder on the outside. They're very shortly in the oven. Now I have the third one in there. And next year I would like to have a more organized kitchen to have space to put the stuff. I'm glad I had those, that gave me a little more space. But if I would have had this free or something, uh, that would have been better. It's not that bad. This was stuff before, and this is stuff I used all the time, or not. <laughs> That's from yesterday. I did quite well with the uh, washing and stuff, considering also how, how bad it goes with that stuff. And, and I forgot. Um, yeah, it's just a bit annoying. So I have cookies there, there, in the tins, are already packed for my sisters. Even though Tanya doesn't want some, I, I'll give her some anyway because she wanted those especially. Then here are, here's the cat food. <laughs> here's the hazelnut things. And, and back there is the vanille Uh 
and the thing with the vinyl clip, I might have done it wrong because I had them in a bowl and uh, because I wanted to have them in the powdered sugar stuff before they cool down. But then um, it's they're a bit weird <laughs> with the powdered sugar and they couldn't cool down and now they have a, yeah, maybe I should have let them cool down a bit more. And I don't know if I've mentioned it, vanille Kipfel, the word itself sounds Austrian, so Österreichisch. It's not Swiss, I guess. Brunsli are, I think, Spitzbube, the cheeky boys. I think that's just Germanistic. Uh, I don't know. I'm so bad with all that stuff, so. Uh, but we do have those every year. Brunsli, Zimtsterne. Spitzbube nicht wirklich, not really. And Anis, Martina made Anis Gwetzli. Maybe I can I can include them once we meet again tomorrow to exchange cookies and stuff. And yeah, so I'm done with the baking and the rest will be the organizing and uh, degustating. Um, try, trying them. I'm looking forward to Zimtstern, Cinnamon Star and the Brunsli. I made a lot because I love those. And then I still have to, I thought I was done with all my um, presents and stuff, but I still have the stuff for my neighbors to uh, package. I give them cookies because I don't know, I, I shouldn't eat them. And I don't know who else to give them to. That's often what happens in our family when we bake cookies, we make a lot, and then we don't know what, who to give it to. And if, oh, is that? No, I think it's just a sh shadow. And uh, then we eat it ourselves, and we shouldn't. And what was that? I got a I got a present from my upstairs neighbor. I'll show that to you later. It's a it's a candle. <laughs> I'm I, I'm not good with keeping secrets. A candle in the shape of a Christmas tree. I made myself a risotto out of a, a pre-cooked or just a box risotto with uh, mushrooms. And I'm editing the first vlog. So it's uh, Friday morning, 20 to 11. I got up at nine-ish and I had to mail a letter to Marianne, who also, it's a, she's an old neighbor from my over last flat, a flat before the last one. And her cat uh, was a lot at my flat because I did it wrong. I couldn't send him away. He was so cute. It was a little ginger cat, boy cat. And he came in and I could not shoo him off because I knew him from the staircase thingy. And and then, and she didn't have a cat door and he ended up in my place all the time. He even slept with me on the couch. <laughs> he was so cute. And he loved my boy cat and, and they were, as a, he thought they were big friends. My boy cat was a bit um, reserved, but he didn't hate him and uh, was lovely. So I sent that card today, Friday. It should arrive tomorrow because I have realized I'm too late with stuff. Now I had it out for a while and I thought I still have time. And now I had to get up to send it um, before 10, because at 10 they empty the letterbox. But then she should get it tomorrow. And I'm here in the kitchen. I just finally cleaned that stuff off. And some of that stuff got dirty again through all the bakings. So I have to wash it again. And I'm about to distribute the cookies into, into things. Um, and yesterday I edited the video or I checked my this vlog also. And then I wanted to eat so many cookies. I didn't, but um, it was very hard to see all the cookie footage <laughs> and eat them. And yeah, bye. This is silly. And if you really, if you really put her hair back, she has a very tiny head. She always looks so big, but she's tiny. But she has a big head, also lots of thoughts. And I think she has ADHD uh, because. For a while, I thought she's not smart, but she's super smart. She's very, she's the smartest of them all. She, she's a smarty. Yeah, sitting next to the smarty. Yeah. Because um, at the beginning when I had her, she always attacked Mutsina. And then I thought I need to, I don't know, I need to train her a bit and just focus her onto something else. Like make her tired with the training. So I started a clicker training with her. But she was the only cat that just um, looked at us when we did it with Mutsina and Marzipan. And then she, she went somewhere else. And 
she was really not interested she just didn't care <laughs> and my boy cat did everything because he was a bit in love with me that's what happens sometimes with the boy cats and the women <laughs> owners the other way around too so and uh, Mutsina was um, very very little frustration tolerance so if she didn't get the cookie she was just angry and didn't, didn't want to participate anymore <laughs> so but she just passed by didn't care couldn't get her with a with a treat either i'm not talking bad about you <laughs> and i don't know when i realized that she's so super smart but she is she really is I'm making another coffee. <laughs> Not so smart. <laughs> so. And here are the cookies for my sisters. This is for Tanya. It has uh, Zimtsterne, Spitzbube and uh, Vanillekipfel. It's the three kinds she wanted, but she also gets some of the Brunsli. And for my Tina, I made it <laughs> a bit nicer. Got the Spitzbube, Vanillekipfel, um, Timsterne Brunsli and also she gets a bag of the Haselnussstängerli and uh, that is that so, Martina, Tanya, mine over there looks like very little but it's the same amount <laughs> I just have them separate so my so those are my Timsterne and my Leftover Zimtsterne and the Spitzbube. Because Spitzbube didn't give a lot for a, all of us either. And the Wandelkipfel and the Brunsli. And I have two bags of Hazelnut um, Haselnussstängerli. Because I don't give those to Tanya. But I think I wanted to give stuff to neighbors. But I find it hard to give my cookies now. <laughs> I want to eat them myself. Which is going to be horrible. Um, so they might get some Haselnussstängerli packages. Also, that would be easier. I'm going to do that. Yeah. And let's hope that Tanya or Martina bring theirs to home. I just want to eat my, my myself. Which is a very bad idea. Because I put on weight so quickly. But yeah, I had some Brunsley. I was uh, just um, mm -hmm. dividing them up. But there were some broken ones and... Those had to be eaten and my back really hurts. The under back part is very, very verspannt, very tense from standing or something. Uh, women's stuff. So I kind of got the stuff ready for the neighbors. So that's my sister writing. Uh, uh, you have seen the the card that's in, that's in there. It's a platform pop-up card with a snowman. And those are the leftovers from the market, with the tea things, because I need to get rid of them. I just stopped, put a sticker over it and so I have that for my four neighbors and as there's chocolate in there I'm not giving them cookies I would love to give them cookies but I don't want to um, give them too much because that will make them feel bad so that's always something to consider too and also I got something for the <coughs> the grandson of my neighbor upstairs it's a little shaky card and another box with um, yeah things so and I put that all now in a bag like that and then I put it in front of their doors and then that is done and I got the cookies here and let's see what happens with those <laughs> ah, and here this is from my upstairs neighbor and she wrote a card I'm not sure if, if the downstairs neighbor is on a tree and then this is the candle. Is it, I don't know about the light, how to get that. Oh, maybe there. So there's, it's, it's a Christmas tree. It's kind of fun, I could just put it up. I wouldn't burn it down, yet, but I have a little Christmas tree myself. They, they're actually selling Christmas trees um, over, over the year, um, 200 meters or 100 or or even just 50 meters over there. Because at some point I would like to have a small Christmas tree myself. I never had one. And uh, just a small one. <laughs> Once I got one from a school friend. Which was in a pot. So that, that's a cool idea too. To have um, an own little Christmas tree. 
but it did not survive. <laughs> I couldn't do that. So I'm now packing it in the bags and then my little sister's coming over and and then I think I've prepared everything. I packed some more stuff for my dad yesterday because I bought a little um, chalkboard to write with the chalk pens, pencils. If you like uh, pencils or colored pencils um, for when we play the game with the dice, maybe so he could save paper and could just write on that little board. And sometimes it's fun to have a little chalkboard somewhere. And then I have another card here or shaker thing and it says guten rutsch which means uh, have a good slide which we wish each other what we wish each other for getting into the new year and it's just funny with, <laughs> with the with the sleigh and i'm going to send that to my friend rima but after christmas so just to send her the new year thingy so also didn't get it done sooner that's how I like to do. Ah, and I enrolled myself. Sorry for shouting. Uh, for the next uh, suitcase market, which is on the 4th of November next year. Uh, it came out that one can start uh, um, enrolling. And uh, I did that right away. I think within an hour, I got the email. I answered and enrolled myself. And by the end of February. February? In German, it's February without the Y at the end. Uh, other than that, it's the same. Um, by the end of February, I should get the, um, an answer if I am accepted at the market or not. Because he often has about 100 enrollments and just 50 spots to give out. And um, yeah, so I do hope so. I, I think I was the first. And uh, yeah, so let's hope so. 4th of November next year. So save the date. <laughs> And I snuck out and put all the presents in front of their doors. And I was a bit scared that somebody would open the door. Because <laughs> um, I, I, I do want to do that in secret. I have weird shadows on my face. Like here and there and there. Just just saying. And <laughs> it has nothing to do with that now. Except for with my face here on the camera. That there are others who wonder too if there's a filter on, on this iPhone. And then it says, yeah, it's kind of not as good as they say it is. I think it's a filter they put on faces specifically. But it's kind of because of the background is sharp and then they have to calculate the face somehow. And then it gets so riesling, so like a picture or something. But I think it's a, it's a beauty filter. If you take a normal picture, it's not on it. So I don't think the camera is that bad. I just think they, they do that on purpose. And I'm not the only one who wondered about that. So... There's that. It's a good morning and happy Christmas. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Uh, today's the 24th of December and I am, um, I just got up and in the afternoon, I go home to my family. We're having our Christmas celebration today. Um, we always do that on the 24th, even though that's not correct. And yesterday I thought I was finished with all my packages but i still had some to go so i got some more there also for cousins and stuff and maybe i go and drop it off in their mailboxes before i go home they also live in neuhausen um my aunt and uh, my cousin so maybe I do that too i don't see that happening yet i feel very not so i don't know not fit today so i just wanted to finish this vlog um um, wish you all a very Merry Christmas and I guess I don't know when I do the next one but I thank you very much for watching and see you the next one. Bye!